M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. I had a friend message me saying he wants to install the W0CHP dashboard on his jumbo hotspot, which is here. MMDVM normally uses the Pi Star system. So on the left, we've got the W0CHP or the WPSD dashboard. And the downloads, if you scroll down, are here in a long list. I'll put the link in the description. The one at the top here is called the Raspberry Pi for 0, 2, 2, 3 and 4. So that's perfect. We're going to click that and download that image. It goes there to our download folder that you can see here. Then you're going to need to download Bellina Etcher because we're going to use that to burn the image onto an SD card. You can't just slide it on. Get yourself a micro SD card. Get yourself an adapter for your PC so you can plug it into your PC. I would get the SD card, put it into your PC and format it. So you just right click on your file explorer or click your file explorer and find your the device that's plugged into your PC. Just here, look, it's already this one needs to be formatted. So we're just going to click it, right click, and then we're going to go format. You can download programs to do this, but Windows does a fine job if you ask me. So that's formatted. We've got a blank SD card. Okay, so now back to Bellina, we're going to go flash, we're going to go to that file, look, WPSD latest, double click it, select target, that's our SD card that's plugged into our PC, select and then flash and it will run across, it will be purple, then green and hopefully at the end of that it will show that it's successful. Now on the same page that you found the the image, go up and select the Wi-Fi config file generator just here. And we're going to drag a image of this onto our SD card of so we can easily connect to our broadband router at home. So to create the image, you're going to type in your username. So let's just do this as an example. Let's just say it's called hello. And then we'll call the password goodbye. Goodbye, and then we'll put a country in. Just choose one at random and click generate file, and then it generates the file. I want a, a better password, so uh, my name is John, and then we'll yeah, then we'll go passphrase hello one two three four five. Select country and then generate. And it's generated a random one there, and then we can just download it, okay? Download. And we've got this file, see it here? And if we right click and go show in folder, then we're gonna we can drag that into our SD card. Literally like this, you're literally just gonna click it and then drag it and let go, and it's in your SD card now. Now let's grab that SD card and put it into our Pi Zero and MMDVM hat. Okay, you get this new installation, and then it says your installation needs to be configured. You'll be directed to the configuration page in 15 seconds. Okay, oh, we just click admin, sign in, and then we'll go to see what else we can do. Let's get our call sign in there. M0FXB, uh, type that wrong, Ta da it finds everything, let's quickly apply that and then we'll add some more details in there. Now it says select our modem which is normally if I put STM Normally find it, where is it? STM32, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Like so, and system time zone. Okay, GB, let's try that. Or UK, not really sure. Ah, Europe, maybe London. Getting close. 
quite a lot to choose from. Yep, Europe, London, got that. Scrolling down, let's apply that and then keep going. Get the frequency of our hotspot in there, 431, normally 550 I use for DMR. And then we're going to go down, select DMR, keep going, display type, OLED. Keep going, Look, the Wi-Fi is active, so we'll go apply changes. Okay, now we're going to choose Brandmeister. So DMR mode, OLED, there's Brandmeister there. So we're going to choose for UK, it's 2341. We're going to put in our Brandmeister password. You do need to get that from Brandmeister. Apply that. I'll show you Brandmeister. Log in. Logged in there. Go to my devices. Actually, no, click here where it says self care. So at the top, M0FXP, self care. Here, bottom left, hotspot security. Type in a password and click save. And that's that sorted. Back to the dashboard, we put that in. We've applied the changes. It does want us to, to save them. Let's go back to the, got the right frequency. Everything's in there that we need now. We'll go back to dashboard. I think we've pretty much done it. So we've got dashboard here. Let's see if we connect. We'll do what it says here, saving our profile. Give it a name, M0FXB, save. That's good, back to dashboard. And so the next thing is just to connect. I'll probably just reboot and see if that helps. Right, I've got to go now because I've been called away, but more tomorrow, 7-3.